Good day viewers, welcome back to Invade Prison Shadow Blade. Dragon Frank here. Now first we remember we got some ticket. So to look for yeah, after we... finishing Katrea. So I already scout around a little bit and I found some only. There's the other one already. I can see it through my point of view. Yeah, even though there's no picture. Another ticket! You have found half of the ticket. Yuko's another ticket. Oh, that's for Yuko! There's the second ticket! There it is! Another ticket! You Natsumi. found half of Natsumi's another ticket. There oh. it is! Let's another see if ticket! I'm right. Yep! Alcatraz ticket! I was right. That was only half of it. So oh. this? I know it's Yuko, I was right! Oh, she's smiling! Found half of Yuko's another ticket. Unlock Yuko's another ending. There it is. Oh, there's Natsumi. Found half of Natsumi's another ticket. Unlock Natsumi's another ending. Padlock? It's a large padlock. It's not there before. I can't get it. Oh, there it is. Like I said. How am I gonna get the padlock? Is that an item? It looks like a pad. It looks like an item, but you need a key for it. Can you just bash it? Can you bash it? Bash it. No, you can't. Well, okay, I got it. Oh, great! Ta -da! <sighs> so, okay, I'm just gonna. So, we're just. Forget about the bad luck. So we're gonna choose the da -da! We're gonna choose an ending. Right? Right. So let's choose Yuko's ending first in Katria and Whoa! Reason with her Make a break for it, try to strike up a deal. Reason with her. So this is the third one. Yeah. Let's see this alternate name. He's gonna kill you or not. I wish not. I'm tired of dying over and over again. Of all those three girls that you died two times. Let's see. So you're an assassin. That's too bad. I guess I really found uh, quite attractive. But if the real you is just a petty lying thug who breaks promises then... I'm sorry? Don't patronize me. I'm just giving it to you straight, Yuko. That's how I feel. Look, <clears throat> don't try to weasel your way out of this, okay? I heard you loud and clear. You can't just say things like that so to people. I'm proud of what I do, very proud. That's nice, but you also will admit that you broke your promise to me. I didn't break anything. All I did was tell a small lie for the sake of my work. Well, no, that's not it either. You broke a promise and you're making excuses. You could easily keep it. You just won't. In fact, you're saying it never existed. That exactly that kind of thing someone very proud of their work would do. Now is it? <laughs> you're making any you're <clears throat> not making any sense. Just arguing for argument's sake. Is that all you got? Petty said if you ask Pretty. me. Pretty said if you ask me. Think, Yuko, think. Look, I don't have time for games, alright? Oh, that's right. You were about to kill me. Yeah, go on then. I mean, what hope do I have against your glorious assassin technique? Assassination technique. Nope. Can't keep a simple promise, but pretty good at, at murder. What a way to go, eh? You talk about pride. Well, I have mine too. And I'm asking you to kill me now. Because I'm not about to beg for mercy for a petty thug as such as yourself. Well, don't tell me sadism. sadism is up there with broken promises on your list of hobbies. I had, I had a change of heart. I don't want to give you the satisfaction of dying by my hand. I don't have to use spit in my face and tarnish my name like that no you live I'm le I'm letting you I'm letting you until you take back everything you said to me in fact 
I already devised an escape route for us. So who's the petty tag now? I must have really ruffled some feathers. She's dead serious. Fair enough. So you keep your promise after all then? Promise? Oh, that I'll give you anything you want. That was, was it, wasn't it? Very well. I'll do what I can if I can. Just don't get ahead of yourself and start asking to be to be let go, right? Let me take you to dinner sometimes, as in like a date. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Are you crazy? In case you've forgotten, I was literally seconds away from killing you just now. Eh, how do you go from that to romance? It's such a short space of time. Well, if it's not exactly out of the blue, I want you from the moment we met. Now you're really not making any sense. What are you saying? You can have a boyfriend? No, I'm not saying that at all. I just mean that, you know... You promise, Yuko! All right, all right. I'll go out with you. But on one condition, you need to learn more about me and what I do. So that you can appreciate my line of work for the respectable proposition of it. After that, you're free to die, and I'll gladly do the honors. Alright, how about we start with Surviving Murder Attempt 101? Obvious, you'll be the one educating me, I presume? Of course I will. I'll take you in nice and slow with me, won't you? What? Oh yes, yes, slow and steady. Sweet. Why are you celebrating? Oh, I give up. Oh, I, she didn't kill me. Well, in this, in this, uh, in this way, your character has a way with words that can make a girl sway. And so here I am, leading a new life with a girl who once tried to kill me. <laughs> a little yet loving killer for hire, my partner, professional and private. Whoa! There you go again, straying from the manual. If you don't listen up to what I say, I'll run this knife through you right now. You really are hopeless, aren't you? Just letting the knife be my guide is all. Nothing wrong with, be, with being flexible, right? Again with the nonsense, you misunderstand the logic. I have to teach you again from the start when we get home. Great, slow and steady if you don't mind. Of you, oh you. Yes, fine. Slow and steady. I'll drill it right into the thick skull of yours. Really? Ah, oh, that was that was a very bad. So you became an assassin. I'm happy with that. As long as I don't die. And another Yuko. Fatal attraction to a loving assassin. At least I didn't die. That's the important part. Whoa. Let's see. Get get off the boat. Yeah, get off the boat. You can't have way with words now. That's better. I wish I had way with words so I won't die also. No, you don't. Yeah, that's a problem. I don't. I'm out, Tatsumi. Huh? Splash. What? Eh? Why jump in the water? We're still anchored to shore. Ah, oh, good point. I have myself back onto the boat. Well, here I am again. Okay, but if you really are out, then go stand on the riverbank or I'll... You what? The way I see it, our best chance of surviving as we can stick together. I'm just glad it's not a gun or a knife you got there. What do you mean? What do you mean? Stick together. Why do you stick together? I'm the one calling the shots here. Is that so? Look man, you, you are blind. Are you blind? Do you see this stun gun in my right hand? I do. Well, I hate to see the one who busted me out of the prison gets hurt. But if you think I only talk, they'll be come see what my stun gun has to say about. Finally, you figured out, huh? Took you long enough? I'm not sure what your stun gun speaks, Natsumi. But I'm pretty sure water and electricity don't mix well in the language. 
and with me still soaking wet, I would have brisked it, would you? Oh yeah, he's in the water. Yeah, you you know the fact that you've ever snuck such a khaki weapon in there at all. Sure tells me a lot about your ability to defend yourself or lack therefore in a flash I leap on her and start trying to wrestle Sangan away. The Sumitro caution wind and flick the gun gun switch in desperation. But then a second though let go and dropping the weapon onto the floor. Somehow I'm able to grab a hold of it before she can kick it away. Phew! You know, with me as wet as I am, I'm really sure of avoid electricity. But lucky for me, the frogs are on the end. I'm pointing at you, eh? Uh, alright, alright, you win. I grab some rope and car the cargo and use it to tie, tie her up. Her hands are bound in front of her, so she has left some freedom. Now, if you don't mind, how about getting us out of here? Ducking out the captain means you were going to steer the boat yourself, right? Damn, you're smarter than I took, for, took you for. Fine, fine. But with all this rope around me, don't be surprised if we crash. That's a chance I will are willing to take. Now, come on, let's go. Hey, what for you stick that stun gun? <laughs> Try to kill me, use the stun gun on me, and I'll just have to use it on you instead. We pick up speed as we make our way through the darkness. Her eyes remain fixed on the river ahead, but she she still have time to moan and groan. You're a real scumbag, you know that? Huh? Look who's talking! I believe you're the one who struck me along first. I'm not an idiot, Natsumi. You know what they say. Once bitten, twice shy. If I play things your way, you leave me in dead at some point, right? Haven't you ever heard people say that salvation comes those who believe? Oh Lord above, woe unto, woe unto this man, for he had sinned. Pipe down, you only make things harder for me for yourself. Harder? <laughs> Can... Can they get any harder than this? Look what you've done to me already! You could still run away seeing as your legs aren't tied. Should we fix that? I hear pulling pants down to the person he kneels does does the job well. What? Oh you wouldn't you would not. That goes way too far. I mean it definitely immobilize anyone, man or woman. Oh, I think I saw a camera back there in the cargo hold. A scoundrelous photo or two would spread all over the internet like wildfire, eh? What the? What's wrong with you, man? You're insane! Well, with an attitude like that, I guess a, a little discipline would hurt. Stop! No, please! <laughs> You'll see your underwear there. You win, okay? You win! I'll do anything you want, just just stop. Sorry, what was that? You do what what now? Look, look, don't push your luck at all, alright? Fair enough. Let's see then, uh Whatever you do for living, I want in. Huh? I mean I'm in between jobs at the moment. It's actually pretty good timing. You're the one who those people aren't you, like a treasure hunter or something. Rolls off the tongue as well, so well. Doesn't it treasure hunter sounds like a cool gig? I don't get you. But well, a promise is a promise. Heck, you might actually come in handy. Yeah, all, all, all things considered, I guess you wouldn't make such a bad partner. Ah, I didn't die again, yay! You're kind of way with words now! I wish I got my way with words as Whoa, well. Whoa, look at that. Is that an ancient ruin? Yeah. So here I am, leading a new life with a girl who once tried to electrocute me. <laughs> <laughs> For you to kill me. To put it in nicely, I'm a treasure hunter. To put in cruelty, I'm a plunderer. 
That's another archaeological site with stories with just waiting to be told. These underground caves are amazing woohoo for us. I guess really is good to have a partner. Things get done twice as fast. You know, until now, I've never really been one trust others or rely on them. Which is why I'm uh, really glad I met you. Just saying, you know. I mean, you still have a lot to learn. But just do your best, man. I mean, partner. Sure, I will. Sure, will. And then maybe we can be life partners too, eh? Well, that depends. That depends on if you can handle the road ahead. Sweet. That's not no. That's not a no then. Shh. So loud. You're embarrassing me. Keep that kind of stuff inside, would you? I really, really don't get you. It's fine if you don't get me. I understand. So you two are archaeology treasure hunters. I love that. Yeah, Tommy looks good in that outfit. Mm. Partners for life through the joy and the strife. Strife? So, not leaving her behind no matter what. Always in the equal side. Yeah, along with Yuko trying to kill me. And here we are. As for weekends off? What the? As for weekends off. Wow. That's what I said. As for weekends off. Okay. <laughs> what kind of ending is that? I don't know. Let's see what would happen to me. That's what I want to know. What will happen to me? Since Catrice, like I can see this. You give me weekends off, won't you? Oh, um, you actually took that seriously? Of course. I mean, obviously, a woman as elegant as a graceful as you would never make joke as rude as a senseless as that, right? Uh, yes, of course, obviously. Excellent. So what will, will you have me do first, my lady? Hmm, you can start by whipping that hockey brute of a guard into sh line, perhaps. Certainly. What? Oh, that was easy. Oh, that was easy. You just say a few words in Katrina and <laughs> it actually work. Now you're working in the prison. And so here I am, leading a new life at the prison. I once tried hard to escape. Staggy, my man, how's your days been? Last of failing so far? Playing. Playing so far? <laughs> uh, classic stag, man. Always strong, silent type. No muss, no fuss, eh? Man, m much respect to guys like you who gets the job done qui quietly and effectively. Efficiently. Efficiently. Whoa, but hang on. Look at those. What? Biceps? Yes. Don't tell. Those. Oh yeah, don't tell me you gotten even bigger. Hmm. What's that? Oh, another patrol. All right, catch you later, Staggy. Stags. And I'm going to cut her. Wow. You're quite, quite big for. What? 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 Are that a hand? Are those hands? Are, are those hands? Yes, yeah, look like the. Those are hands. Seb, looking good today. As a usual, I have absolutely no clue what you just said. Those are hands of a human! Yes, I can see that! You're always so kind and patient with me. Much respect, man. Much respect. Let's give it... Let's give it all we got today, eh? Oh, what a beautiful morning. I know I'm a throne in every, everyone's side. I'm still learning the ropes after all. But they always give me a support I need, which make it all fun and worthwhile. What are you wearing? A friend made up. Oh, there you are. Please stay and keep me company again, would you? I really am ever so bored. Morning, Miss Katreya. Another quiet day at the prison, it seems. Oh, come now. No, down here, please just call me Katreya. After all, I'm a prisoner and you're an ass assistant guard, you know. Fair enough. Well then, Katreya. Yes? Let the interroga interrogation begin. Oh my. You, you, so you sound awfully happy to hear that. It's just that it's part of the day always give me, give me the thrills. What kind of teasy and torment do you have to in store for me today. I can't wait. 
good. I'm gonna squeeze every last secret out of you. Expose everything now, will you? Lay it all bare. I like like the sound of that. Ah, <laughs> ah, uh, uh, just another day in paradise. What do you mean paradise? What's going on? Oh, you can do whatever you want, Katreya. You so, do whatever you want to her. Behind closed doors, what that mean? Huh? I think you, I huh? Think what? Found the padlock. Use the key to rescue the person you were really meant to save. Meant to save? Behind closed doors. I found the key, yay! Yay! Why? You can do whatever you want to Katreya in this ending. What a boring one. You close the door, you can do whatever you want to her. Can we just talk? Like normal people do? No, she's the prisoner. You have to do things to her. That is so not right. I mean, in the maid's outfit. So, you can get the padlock now. Yeah, the one I keep seeing it. You, uh, can, you, can, you saw that, but... Oh, right, you got the key for that. I got the key! Okay, so we're gonna continue the next part of the I got a key. So, we're gonna continue the next part of the video. That's all for today. Hope you enjoy. So, Cherubin Dragon Fab will continue this the next part of the video. Good guys. See ya. The best is the one. He got the hands of a human. Yeah, looks like it, but it's a guy. Weird.